I'm willing to bet that you got a smartphone. I'm also willing to bet that that phone right now is tracking you and listening to everything you do. Don't think so? We're going to break down why, how, and what you can do when it comes to Operation Phone Spying. Got one of these bad boys, iPhone 12 Pro. It looks great, except for it spies on you. You got the latest and greatest Samsung. You got the latest and greatest from iPhone or Android. Well, unfortunately, you're spending thousands of dollars on a device that catalogs everywhere you go, everything you say, everything you do, and it literally can use this information against you in the name of your safety and in the name of marketing. We want to increase your experience, don't you know? Well, we're going to talk about a couple of different options today. The first one is Wi-Fi triangulation. Now, most of these phones have significant location services. The thing I recommend you do as soon as you get your phone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, is turn off all of the location services and do not send data to Apple or Google or any of these companies in the name of developers and trying to help the developers. Are they cutting you a check? I don't think so. If they can't figure out how to develop their devices better, they have no business making these devices. And they know it. It has nothing to do with the developers. They're just fine. In fact, try giving them your opinion and see how that goes down. They're not going to take it. Imagine going to Apple and being like, hey, Apple, I got a couple ideas. Yeah, right. So the reality is Wi-Fi triangulation, you need to turn off all significant location on your phone. And it's going to be in the form of apps. It's going to be in the form of Siri. It's going to be in the form of all these. I got Siri taken off my phone the best possible. You have to go through each app and, you know, it's ridiculous. But it's something you need to do. The next thing is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi pinging. Here's the thing. You've got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and just at all times, here I am, here I am, here I am, here I am. If you're not using Bluetooth, like I use Bluetooth from time to time, got the AirPods, got my Bose wireless headphones, which I love, but I use them in a closed environment and I'm very careful about using Bluetooth. In fact, I rarely use Bluetooth out in big public spaces. But the reality is, if you are using Wi-Fi or if you are using Bluetooth, use it, okay? But understand there are privacy risks, but when you're done, turn it off. You don't need to leave it on at all times and Wi-Fi, turn it off. Because your phone has a lot of things built into it. Like your Mac, you know, all your devices, you're looking at your Mac address, you're looking at your IP address, your phone, you've got your IMEI. You can't change your IMEI. It's actually illegal to change, right? You can spoof a Mac address on one of your devices, uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, and you can, you can structure it where you turn off your Bluetooth and you turn off your Wi-Fi, which I recommend you do. I would make it a, a habit, and this is a habit that I have, is when you leave... You turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. That alone is going to help you greatly because all of these different Wi-Fi routers are able to triangulate exactly where people are. Same thing they do with cell phone towers. They do with Wi-Fi boxes. But unlike cell phone towers where you've got them here and you've got them there, you've got Wi-Fi devices everywhere nowadays. The whole world is run on Wi-Fi. And so they're able to get your precise location and a map of where you're coming and going everywhere. And to make it worse, most of these devices you log in with your Apple ID or your Google ID, which tracks you in ways that we don't even know. That's why they're closed source and not open source. They don't even want you to know all the ways. Now, when you look at this, a VPN helps. A VPN helps with your IP address and a VPN helps block some traffic. I use Proton VPN and I use private internet access. I've talked about the two I use and I'm a happy customer. I'm not an affiliate, so whatever VPN you use is up to you. But those are the two I use. I share just so, because people ask me which ones do I recommend. You know, at the end of the day, try to find a VPN that doesn't log everything you do. But those are the two I use. If you got a better one, let me know down below what VPN do you use? What phone do you use? Do you use the iPhone? Now for me, this is my business phone. Running a business, being an entrepreneur, working full, you know, for myself, uh, running two companies. Having this phone is a business tool. But if I go, you know, living in Vegas, going to play poker, or doing things, you'll have a different phone system, right? You don't just take the same phone with you, tracks you everywhere you go. Also, burner and aged SIM cards, I've talked about that here on this channel before, where burner phones and aging SIM cards and aging burner phones, so you can break up the monotony. In my 
opinion, most people should have a phone system as opposed to a singular device. The problem is that can get really expensive if you're always trying to have the flagship. So it comes down to what's financially feasible for you. But that is something that you want to think about because these things are crowdsourced when it comes to Wi-Fi and they're able to track everything you do. So one of the best things you can do is turn off your Wi-Fi and turn off your Bluetooth when you're not using it. The other thing you could do and something that I do all the time is airplane mode. If you're not using your phone in that specific instance, airplane mode is a good option. And then, you know, turning your phone off and taking out the SIM is a good option, depending upon what you're doing. That's why I switch out phones. I have a business dedicated phone, dedicated burner phones, what I call a poker phone. So if I'm going to play poker, I could take a different device. Like me, I'm a big fan of BlackBerry. Great technology, a little bit outdated now, but I don't need the latest apps. And that brings me to my next point is a lot of these apps track you. So you got to check out all the app tracking as well. And some apps, if you're using Google apps or Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, there, there's no hope. You're, you're not going to not be tracked. You can turn off everything you want. It doesn't matter. Some of it is baked in to the fundamental properties in the code and these apps and these devices. Now, Graphene OS and other devices are promising. I've had Graphene OS on Pixel, a uh, promising device. I'm really switching more and more to Linux. I think Linux has a promising future in the phone market because people are finally understanding how important privacy is. In my opinion, you should not, I mean, this device cost me like almost $1,500. It's got the big memory, the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm willing to pay that because the business spends in this because I use it to run my companies and I use it for a business phone. You have a business phone, you have a personal smartphone, because we're going into an age where people having multiple phones becomes a thing. Right? I wouldn't take this everywhere I go because no matter how much I do to it, it's always going to have tracking baked in. In my opinion, there's tracking baked into the OS. The same thing with the Pixel, same thing with every Samsung device. If you have those devices, you could, you could do these things I'm talking about to help, but you know, if you turn off all location, you turn off Wi-Fi, you turn off Bluetooth, that's going to help out drastically. But you've got the IMEI, you've got you know, your, your IP address, you can try to use VPN there's going to be characteristics to the phone that are going to track you regardless. And if you're logged in, the, the way they track you now is payment, which is why cryptocurrency, I talk a lot about Monero on this channel, cryptocurrencies that are actually privacy anonymous coins, because if you're using Bitcoin or you're using PayPal, it's the same thing in most instances. They know exactly who you are. And if that financial service is also tracked to your address, you've given up the whole farm. You should have all your financial services connected because of the know your customer and patriot laws uh, patriot act you have to you have to have an address on file all my financial services go to ghost addresses which i've talked about on this channel and i've talked about how to get semi-anonymous and anonymous banking and credit cards etc so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe click the thumbs up put out new videos every single day here on privacy x and we're breaking these these topics down because i think it's really important to understand that you have to compartmentalize compartmentalize co Bluebird Pow? Yeah. Compartmentalizing everything you do is vital from browsers to devices to phones to having a system. Now, it could be a little bit extra work, and I know these companies sell you convenience. Oh, you just pick it up and it recognizes. Could you imagine using Face ID? I have never used Face ID. I'm cool with the passcode. My breaking point for iPhone, I buy all the new iPhones, all of them. I've got four kids, I give my kids iPhones. You know, I, I, I buy tons of iPhones. If they make it Face ID only, which they probably will, I'm done. I'll never buy another iPhone, which is why I've been switching more and more to Linux. That's my breaking point. I will not use Face ID. You may think, well, Cody, you're on YouTube, who cares? It's taking it a bridge too far for me. It's not about being on YouTube. It's not about having photos. It's, I'm not gonna have a device that starts using all these crazy things to tell, you know, it's ridiculous. We're going into a world that I'm not willing to partake in. And so that's my breaking point. Everyone has one. Mine is Face ID. Now, I currently still do have the latest smartphone and I'll buy the smartphone 13 or 15 or 21. But if it's, if it's Face ID only, I'm out. If it's got no ports, I might buy it. If it, because the technology in the iPhone is pretty impressive, but if it's got face ID, I'm out. And the thing with the way phones are going, you look at Linux, you look at open source projects, you look at Graphene OS, even though it freaks a lot of people out because you're on a pixel, a Google phone, but you de-Google a Google phone. It's kind of ironic. There are projects that make it more anonymous, which are projects that I personally use. And I will say the, the convenience of iPhone and the convenience of Samsung, the convenience of some of these phones gets you. The convenience of some of these devices gets you. I get it. I'm part of it. Being an entrepreneur, I need some level of convenience to be productive to run companies. It takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. 
but you've also not, you've got to at some point draw a line in the sand and not be willing to give up all your data and all your privacy to be used against you at a later date in the form of convenience and safety and security because you're really not that safe and secure and it has nothing to do with you and has everything to do with them and big data and big tech, big brother. And you're the little guy or the little gal holding the bag. So those are a couple things you can do to really take it off location and disabling as much Wi-Fi as possible. You know, I got my iMac Pro here. Hardwire, 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 hardwire. Whenever possible, hardwire. Whenever you're using Wi-Fi, VPN. Whenever you're not using Wi-Fi, turn it off. Whenever you're not using Bluetooth, turn it off. Turn off all tracking and all apps and turn off all location services. That's gonna help you greatly, but understand there's no way to make this a ghost phone unless you take out the internals. I'll be doing a video soon on my phone system, but in the meantime, I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Make sure you're staying anonymous and make sure you're staying consistent in these things because these companies know that if they can create a level of convenience, they will get you. Have an amazing day, guys. Take action every day. Go all in in everything you do in your life, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.